and your business is an estate agent, is this as good as it gets for me? What do I need to do to break through my ceiling of achievement? Is there anything that I can do differently than the way I have been doing it? They say you cannot teach an old dog new tricks. I think that's an insult even to an old dog. I want to know what is it that differentiates those who achieve at the highest level from those who don't seem to accomplish as much. What is it? What makes successful people in real estate super successful? And I want to share three models of the 24 topics in the Millionaire Real Estate Agent book today with you. The nine ways millionaire real estate agents think, the six personal perspectives, and six myth understandings. Now my big why in real estate might differ from yours and from the next person. My big why is I'm very competitive. Over 20 years in real estate, I've had three suburbs that I dominated. And my sole purpose or goal, rather, was to dominate the market, to have the majority market share as an individual. So that is my why. I want to do it because I want to be the best. Because I believe he who controls the stock controls the market. And for me to control the market, I need to have dominant market share. Do you all agree? When I started off in real estate, there was a lady that walked away with all the prizes. Top listing agent, top manager agent, top units, top commission. And one day I walked up to her after an award function and I asked her, what is it that you do that makes you so successful? But first of all, why do you do what you do that makes you so, that make you so successful? And she said, I'm the sole breadwinner for my family. My husband has left me a while ago. My mother is terminally ill with, with cancer. The medical costs are killing us. She has a daughter that needs special care because she suffers from cerebral palsy. And she has a younger brother that's a drug addict that's in and out of rehab. And she's a sole bread breadwinner. That is her why. Now we all have a different why. Why we get up in the morning and do what we do. But I'm going to ask you this. If you don't have a big why, make sure tomorrow morning when you get up, you have a big why. Do something different tomorrow morning when you wake up. Wake up on the other side of the bed. Sir, roll over your wife when you get out of bed. And she, if she asks you, what are you doing? You tell her, I'm changing my life. I've got a big why and I'm doing things differently from today. You need to have a big why, ladies and gentlemen. If you have a big why, a big why will automatically, re automatically result in big goals and big models. Now, if I ask you guys, who of you are willing to do a two-kilometer charity walk for cancer with me? We need to start tomorrow morning at 8, and we need to finish it by tomorrow evening at 8 o'clock. Uh, who will do it with me? Who will do it with me? <laughs> if I ask you the same question, and I tell, uh, ask you, I'll challenge you. Let's you and I run the comrades next year. Who's going to do it with me? No one. <laughs> okay, don't worry. Uh, I'll rather play golf. <laughs> do you agree with me that big models and big goals, practicing and preparing for the comrades marathon, is completely different than the models we would put in place for a two-kilometer charity walk? If you have big goals and big models in your real estate business, it will change your life. Big goals and big models bring with it the energy needed to finish the Comrades Marathon.